I tried renting my clothes for three months and here is how it went. I was introduced to a clothing rental service called Newly, which is $98 per month to rent out six different articles of clothing. First, you shop their online catalog from brands like Anthropology, Free People, For Love and Lemons, and hundreds more. Choose your six items, they ship it to you, you wear them for a month, send them back with a prepaid shipping label, and once they scan your shipment, you unlock six items for the next month. Now I know what you're thinking. $100 a month and you don't even get to keep any of the clothes or wearing clothing that other people have already worn. I know, believe me, those were my initial thoughts, but the more that I thought about it, the more intrigued I was about this idea. Between shifting my business to work from home, having a baby, and now juggling work and family life, my lifestyle has changed, my body has changed, but my wardrobe? hasn't. Most of the times now my outfits consist of leggings and an oversized t-shirt or sweater. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I still like having unique pieces in my closet and discovering different brands. And let's be real here, one nice dress probably costs around $100. I wear it like once or twice. Versus trying out six different pieces sounds like so much fun. And a huge bonus is if you fall in love with one of the items, you can actually purchase it at a discounted price. So I signed up for three months and here is how it went. So the first month you sign up, you actually get a discount and the total came up to $86. I got cozy, pulled up my laptop and began shopping. I started adding clothing that I liked to my closet by clicking the little hanger icon. It acts as a hub where you can see all of your light clothing and you can also separate them into categories, which is super helpful. I was quite surprised with how large of a selection they had and it was a little bit overwhelming at first. And if you know me, you know I like having a strategy at everything I do. So I found it really helpful to kind of plan the month out that I knew was ahead of me. I would look at what events I had going on that month and kept all of those events and outings in mind while I was shopping. I also wanted to look for pieces that I normally wouldn't wear and that are a little bit out of my comfort zone. But the goal here was trying to find pieces that worked with my body to broaden my wardrobe. I also found it really helpful to look at reviews from other newly subscribers. They would have pictures and also know if items run small or big and how the quality was. This was super helpful in making sure that I chose the right size so I didn't have just a wasted item for that month. And lastly, I wanted to take into consideration the price of the item. I would pay for something that is more expensive so I could get more bang for my $100 and really feel like I'm getting my money's worth. I placed the order and received the item in a couple days. Month one has arrived. It literally came in this fatty package. And if we open it up, the clothes are <laughs> just stuffed in there. I've done a subscription box before and this is definitely not the nicest kind of package I've received. It's also weird that literally anyone can unzip this and open it. So inside's a little shipping label for returns. So I've got to save that and the bag. Okay, let's see how the pieces look. So since I'm going on vacation, I wanted to get some shorts. The fabric feels really rough and scratchy. The elastic does have a big stretch in the back, so I feel like they're gonna be pretty comfy. So let's go ahead and try these on. <laughs> okay, these fit perfectly. I think the style I could actually get behind. I really like the frills on the bottom, the different textures throughout the shorts. There's not a lot of coverage in the booty area, so I'm pretty much gonna be treating this like a skirt. But I think these are pretty cute. I like them. To pair with the shorts, I got this really cute embroidered top. This is really good quality. The embroider is beautiful. I'm a little bit worried about the cups because when they normally have these cutouts, my boobs never fit in the cups and these are padded, so might fit me a little bit weird there. Now the snaps are adjustable. They have little snaps on them, which is something really cool. And the back has a lot of stretch to it. This seems like a really cozy piece. So let's see how it fits. This top is pretty cute. I definitely won't be wearing it with these shorts, maybe just like a black skirt or black shorts or something, but I think it looks awesome. As far as the cups go, the actual seam for the boobs is right here. and. My boobs are under. But I think it's okay, it doesn't look too weird. I will have to figure out a bra situation here. Don't like how that shows. It's so frilly and girly, I like it. Oh, okay, this is super 
thick. Now since the weather's been colder, I wanted to wear something a little warmer. So we've got some purple velvet action here. Seems like a really good layering piece. The quality is okay. The fabric is doubled only on this inside portion and then throughout the rest it's pretty thin. But we'll see how it feels on. The velvet is velveting. <laughs> like a lot <laughs> this is something totally out of my style i definitely wouldn't buy a piece like this but i think if styled correctly i could pull it off Wait, does it have pockets it has pockets how cute i've been trying to incorporate some more browns into my wardrobe so i wanted to try out a brown sweater so we got a little crop sweater action going on i like this one because it had a little detail in the arms so I really liked how it looked like it was braided. And then we got like a really big puffy sleeve down here. I wish the fabric was softer. The fabric reminds me of like grandma sweater <laughs> for some reason. Maybe because it's been like worn and washed a lot. Also, I don't really know how I'm supposed to tie this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go in the front or the back. I just feel like I have to do this with the sleeves being so puffy. <laughs> this one is definitely more boobalicious. I take back what I said about it being a granny sweater because I don't think grannies would wear this. <laughs> I think this is really cute. The back keeps creeping up on me showing my bra strap. Maybe the bow should go in the back. Oh, that's so much cuter. So to continue with the browns, I got some pants. These are corduroy pants and they have a stretch to it. They still have the tag on it, which is crazy. So these ones got a really good review and I normally don't wear pants. I'm more of a skirts and tights kind of girl, but you know, sometimes it's good to have some pants. So we're gonna put these into rotation. I'm excited to see how they look on me. All right, I thought I got a size 29 in these, but we're doing 28. Probably could have gone one size up, but wait. These are so cute. <laughs> but even wearing these with like a sweater, the length is actually okay on me too. I'm kind of surprised about that because I'm pretty petite. Okay, I can see why these got a really good rating. They are bendable, breathable, flexible. <laughs> These are great. Like, I wouldn't mind owning these. The only thing I wish is that they had pockets. That's my only thing. I already have ideas on how I want to style these. I'm excited. Last but not least, we got a giant sweater. I spot a tag. Now, I love sweaters, but having these big poofy sweaters in my wardrobe, it takes up a lot of space. And I live in California, so it's not really often that I wear them. So I think this could be a good solution to renting my jackets. The fabric isn't as soft as I thought it was gonna be, but it still has some nice cushion to it. The actual jacket is lined, which is really nice. Seems like it's gonna keep me warm. Let's try it on. Ooh. Oh, nice and cold inside. I love the big puffy sleeves. I normally don't wear these like huge collars, but it's giving. We got pockets in the front. What if I zip it up all the way? I don't think it's meant to be worn like this. It looks like I have a neck brain. <laughs> it's cute. Definitely too big for my California closet, but I think I could get some good use out of it. So here are the outfits that I actually wore out into the world. Some of the pieces I didn't really end up wearing at all, but all in all, I think it was really cool to kind of test drive the clothing before I decide if I want to purchase them. Now it was time to send back the clothing and I actually ended up forgetting to add one of the pieces into the shipment. And then I got an email that I was charged, $98 I believe, for something I did not not like. I ended up emailing them as soon as I received that email explaining the situation and how I didn't want that product. And to my surprise, they were really quick to respond. They were really understanding, really nice, and said that I could just ship out the item with my next newly shipment. And they refunded me the money once they received it. So we were all good. Their customer service gets an A in my book. So for month number two, I was ready to go. I was so excited to go shopping and I had a bunch of events planned out for that month. I decided to do a little bit of shop 
shopping and put stuff in my closet before I was actually able to, you know, rent them. I wanna say I spent like two hours going through every single item. I was ready to go once the 19th came up, which was my next billing date. The time had finally come and I was ready to just, you know, add it and go and get my items. And I was wrong. Most of the items that I had added to my closet were not available in my size anymore. So I had to restart the whole shopping process. I was a little annoyed at this, but then I learned my lesson to not shop early because stuff gets rented off the shelves quickly, I guess. So I ordered my items and here is what I got. Package number two has arrived. Got some really fun, colorful stuff this time. I'm always surprised at how they can package everything in here. This one actually looks kind of nice, but I did notice that they they forgot my shipping label. Does that mean I have to pay for shipping? First up is this schoolgirl skirt. How cute is it? I love the pleats, love the pattern, the fabric, everything looks well made. Smell test. It doesn't smell like anything, which is a good thing. This actually looks like it's going to fit me perfectly, so let's try it on. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Ready for school. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. This is like the perfect pleated skirt. I will admit it is a little on the shorter side, but since I'm petite, this is perfect for my body. I love it. I actually got a cardigan that I think it would look really cute with. Let's get it out. This one right here. I got it in black because I don't have any black cardigans. Oh, it still has a tag on. <gasps> wow, $108. That's more than the subscription. This one looks like it's made super well. I love the different stitching it has. I don't think you can see the details too much, but we got oversized fit. Let's put it on. I love that it still has the tags on it. It's like it's made for me. It's so cute with the, this is the cutest outfit. Maybe with a different top, like a black one, but oh my gosh, it's so cozy. There's pockets. I love the oversized sleeve. Can we appreciate this for a moment? I just love the way it falls. I think I'm actually gonna wear this today. <laughs> I might actually purchase this. This is one of those pieces that are always good to have in your wardrobe and it matches with so many different things because it's black. So, oh, I love it. Next piece I got is a pair of pants and they're a little, you know, on the more statement side. It's a leopard. It has a tag on it. This was $130. And they're from Anthropology. I don't know, pants are kind of hard for me since I'm petite, so let's try it out. I think these are the definition of mom jeans. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. I gotta take the cardigan off to get the full effect here. Hmm. 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 I don't feel like these are really doing anything for me, but who knows? Maybe if I wear a belt, put on some accessories, I'm gonna have to force myself to wear these. I don't like the way I look in them. I don't like the way I feel in them. Is it just me? I'm just not a pants girl. I can't do it. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of just there, you know? They're just there. They're just on my body. Okay, so this last outfit I got for date night, you know, Valentine's Day is this month. So I just wanted to get a dress to wear for my date night and I actually got a coat to go with it. I'm not sure if it's too much pink. I mean, it's a lot of pink and a lot of sparkles. <laughs> so here is the dress. Ah! Look at how sparkly it looks. No tags on this one. And this is surprisingly very soft. It's kind of hit and miss whenever I do sequins because sometimes it can be really itchy. So hopefully this isn't too itchy, especially underneath the arm. I'm excited for this. Okay, I've always wanted to buy something like this, but just felt like I wouldn't really use it too much if it was in my wardrobe. Oh, this one has the tags on it. And it is a pink coat. Oh, the tags are still on. $98 from Free People. Wow, a lot of the items still had tags on them this time. So, you know, just a little cover up for the dress. I thought it would be cute. Let's try it on. This is actually really pretty. It's so comfortable. It just catches the light so pretty. Okay. 
I feel like a pink Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> it's so comfortable. I like the cut. It fits nicely. It's not too constraining, which I think having the shapewear underneath will definitely help bring out my curves. Let's try it with the jacket. Oh my gosh, I'm so pink. <laughs> but wait, this is so cute. I love this. The cut, oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is a statement outfit right here. I don't even know where I'm going on this date, but it better be somewhere nice. <clears throat> All right, it's a new day and I completely forgot one item. I don't know why I keep thinking it's five items rather than six, but this one was kind of camouflaged at the bottom of the bag and it is this sweater right here. This is something that I would never ever buy. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I, I don't even know what it says. C'est bon, c'est bon. What does that mean? <laughs> c'est bon, that's... It's good. I should probably learn how to really pronounce this if I'm gonna be wearing it. C'est bon, c'est bon. Okay, already off the bat, it legit smells like perfume. I don't know if they actually wash this stuff. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I really hope they wash them. Maybe I should just give everything a wash. But then that's just more work for me and it defeats the purpose. C'est non bon. <laughs> non c'est bon. I thought this was gonna be a little bit more oversized, so I'm kind of worried about how it's gonna fit. But let's go ahead and try it on. What if I was like very sensitive and allergic to perfume? Then what? Here it is. It actually fits kind of cute. I wish it was a little bit bigger. I probably should have got a size up, but I think it's pretty cute. And I, I think it would match with some browns. You know, I don't really have much blue in my wardrobe, so I'm gonna have to figure out some outfits for this. I just can't get over the smell. I can smell it from here. I also don't want to smell like someone else. All right, well, let's see how much use I actually get out of the clothes this month. Here is the footage of me actually wearing the items out into my everyday life. I feel like this month I really got my money's worth, especially since I wore a dress for Valentine's Day. I got a lot of use out of the cardigan sweater. And overall, I was just really happy with all of the items that I got. I sent them back and was ready for my final shipment. And at this point, I felt like I was getting a little more familiar with the closet. I already had some stuff saved that I liked. So shopping was a lot easier around this time. Now I was a little late to put the order in, so I didn't really get to use all of the items that I wanted to and what I got them for, but here is what I got for month three. Our third newly is here. I can smell the clothes through the actual bag. <laughs> this top is actually really cute. It has a smell to it. What is that? It's not like a bad smell, but it smells very like warehousey. I'm actually excited to try this one on. It's a brand that I really like. We don't have tags on it, so this has been worn already, but I was gonna pair this with a pair of shorts, which are right here. These ones definitely look like they have been worn. They have little peaches on them, and I got them because I'm going to a Princess Peach event, so I thought it would be perfect. Very on theme, on brand. But these ones don't have the tag on them. They definitely look like they've been worn. The crotch looks a little weird to me. <laughs> these might be too short, actually. Why does the crotch look like that? I have a feeling these are not gonna look good on my body, but let's try them on. We're gonna try them on together. I don't know about this one. So the shorts actually come with a belt, but I felt like the waist is super duper high on this. So I don't know, I kind of just wanna cover it up with the shirt. The shirt falls pretty cute. I think I could actually wear the shirt. I'm not sure if I, hide it correctly in the back. But I think the shirt's pretty flattering. I like the little ruffle detail here. Super dainty and cute, but I can't get behind the shorts. Like I knew they were gonna be a weird fit, but like they're like the type of shorts that are like too big of an opening. So like they're just very loose in the butt. <laughs> and if I were to bend over, you'd be able to see my peach. This shirt is actually really growing on me. It's pretty flattering for my body. But up next, we have a dress. So I actually ended up getting this dress for my husband's birthday party, and it was two days ago. 
so don't know where I'm wearing this. <laughs> it looks really cute. I sized up because a lot of reviews said it runs small and I can already tell that these armholes might be a problem for me. I have really big arms and there's not really too much give in this, but the fabric's really nice. No tag on this one, so I'm not getting lucky this time with the tags. And this one doesn't have a weird smell, so we got that going for us. Let's try it on. Oh, okay, this is cute. I was actually kind of worried about this. I thought that the arms weren't gonna fit, but the fabric is pretty stretchy and it's really comfortable. I do remember seeing reviews that it was very short, but normally I can get away with that because I'm 5'3", so I'm short. <laughs> but even for me, this dress is pretty short. This is such a cute cut. I've been loving like the square necks recently, but sometimes I feel like they go a little too far, like this one. Just, you know, bring it in a little bit so it can sit on the shoulders. But other than that, this dress is made super well. It has a little slip underneath and I think it's really cute. It's a super cute party dress. I wish I could have wore this for my husband's birthday party. Dang it. So, well, let's do, let's see what happens when I raise my hands though. Oh, you can't raise them all the way up. Hopefully I am able to find an event to wear this too, because I think it's adorable. So I actually bought a jacket to go over this dress because it's been a little bit chilly and I've never owned anything like this in my closet. So I was kind of going a little risque here. Whoa, it's a long, I think this is not real leather. I believe this is vegan leather and it's a long trench coat. Let's see how it looks over this. This is definitely something way out of my comfort zone fashion wise. I'm gonna feel like I'm straight out of the matrix with this on. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so sleek. I love the slit. We got a tiny little like tie detail. It has pockets. It's really comfortable. It's lined. This is just really well made. Imagine this outfit with some black boots. Ooh, wait, hold on. I need glasses. You're the one, Neo. The red pill or the blue pill? <laughs> this is me dodging bullets. <laughs> so since the weather's been pretty chilly, I wanted to get another sweater because I feel like I've kind of worn my sweaters too much. Like I feel like I don't have anything to wear now. So I got this maroon one. It's an oversized sweater and it's in knit and I believe it is free people. There is no tag on it. It has the same warehousey smell as the other ones. Also got a skirt to try along with this going with the vegan leather again. I've been looking for a skirt like this to add to my wardrobe. So we'll see if I actually like this brand and this cut and we'll try it with our sweater. <gasps> OMG, I think I'm in love. <laughs> like this is my favorite outfit out of everything that I've tried on. So the skirt is a perfect fit. Here is how it fits. It is so soft. I feel like the length is perfect for me. The slit is the perfect height. Like this is the, the perfect skirt for me that I have been looking for. So I might actually purchase this one since you get a discount if you buy it. It's not new, but it looks really good. The jacket is actually super cozy. I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this month. Minus that weird smell. It kind of reminds me of like a chemical smell. I'm not, I don't know what that is, but I love the cut. It's really oversized. It is just the perfect length. It's so cozy. I actually might consider buying this one too. I don't have anything in this color. So we'll see what outfits I can put together this month. And I'll show you guys how I wear them. So here's me wearing some of the clothing out into the world. I actually wore a full newly piece for a birthday brunch with my parents. 
This month was probably the least amount of usage that I got from the clothing. I found myself going out but not using the stuff that I ordered. And this could have just been an error on my end in my selection. I did get a lot of use of the cozy sweater around the house. And I actually really love this vegan leather skirt. And I was gonna purchase it but wanted to see if they had it available in a different color since I already have a lot of black skirts in my wardrobe. And luckily I was able to find it in the color pink on Anthropology during their St. Patrick's Day sale. So I actually got it cheaper ordering it new through Anthropology than I would have through Newly. So overall, I had such a great experience with Newly. The customer service was great. Their selection was amazing. They mostly had the stuff that I wanted except for that one time. I love all the brands that they carry and I really do love that there's a review system where you can hear actual feedback from people. So currently I have paused my subscription for three months just because I don't feel like to be paying $100 a month, I'm not really going out as much. I could see it working if you go to a lot of events or parties or even just going out to work. But as someone who works from home, it's kind of difficult to justify paying that $100 a month. So I hope that was helpful if you're interested in renting from Newly. If you are, I have an actual affiliate link in the description and maybe I'll make a second video on this. Let me know if you're interested in that. Thank you all so much for watching. Check out more videos from me right here and I hope you have a great day. I love you, bye bye.